was like uh, anniversary for uh, this picture I took of me when I was going to the gym. Um, it was about six months after I started like consistently going to the gym, and I realized I was like, oh wow, it has been like a year and a half since I started going, and you can really see the well, I can really see the progress I've made, and I just thought it'd just be something fun I'd like to share. Um, I'm looking at my laptop over here because it has all the pictures I'm going to be using for this video, so um, that's what I'm looking at. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't really organize my photos that well, so they're all like all over the place, so I'm trying to organize it in um, chron chronological order, like sequential order, basically. Um, so starting off, uh, I just want to talk about who, or who I was before. school, but I'd only go with, like, my friends, basically, because, uh, I was a really big gym guy, I didn't really like going to the gym and stuff, I only went because my friends would go, and if I did go, I'd, like, still work out and do a good workout with them, but I never had motivation to go on my own, I remember, um, I'd go to the gym sometimes by myself, and I'd sit there and then do, like, one or two extra, like, workouts, and I'd be there for, like, 20 minutes, and I'd just feel so, like, like, have no motivation. I'd literally just leave. Like, I'd just be like, all right, like, I'm just leaving. Uh, and, and I remember, like, I went there for, like, 20 minutes once, and, and I did, I literally did do exercise, and I just, like, was sitting there, and I was like, why am I here right now? Like, I, I'm just gonna go home, and I did. But growing up, ever since I was, like, young, six or seven, I was very big into soccer. I started soccer when I was five years old in intramural, and I did travel when I was six um, for my age, and I've just always done soccer, and once I got to the age of like seven or eight, my dad was very big in like training and being good, so he would always give me uh, like outside club like lessons, like whether it be private lessons or like lessons through like, um, like a place. <laughs> Um, yeah, like, through outside sources. Um, I remember my summers, it was tough, because I'm, like, seven, eight, nine years old, I'm just trying to, like, enjoy summer, but my dad would wake me and my older brother up, but me more specifically, because I started at a young age, my older brother, he didn't start soccer until he was, like, in middle school, um, but we do have the age gap, so by the time my older brother started, I was also playing, so... He kind of started the same time around I started, and, um, he, he didn't really like soccer as much, so he didn't really get into it until he got, he was in middle school, but I was just, like, always into soccer, and I remember, like I said, at the age of, like, seven, eight, nine, my dad would wake me up at 8, 8 a.m. in the morning to take me to my first, uh, soccer lesson, they were only, like, an hour long, but they'd be by, like, um, age levels, so there's a core one, core two, core three, and core four. Core four being the oldest or also the hardest. And I started off at core one, and I remember the first time I went, I hated it because I, I felt like I was terrible. Everybody was, like, able to kick the ball off the ground, and I couldn't. But anyways, um, I kept going, and I did progress. So he wake me at 8 a.m., and I get, to, I get to the soccer place by 9 a.m., and at 9 a.m., I do my core two training session, which is an hour long. And as soon as that ended, I would go to another facility, which was, it was like part of the same building complex, but it's like a different company, basically. And I go there, and, and I do one hour of, um, not soccer, but agility or core stabilizing, just like lower body, um, kind of just like, just training, not for soccer, but just, well, for soccer, but also just body and stuff um so i do those i do one hour of soccer and then right after i do one hour of like whether it be foot ladders or hurdles uh whatever those pull-up things are with like the straps and you do like things like that or standing on like a half yoga ball for balance calf like a bunch of stuff like parachutes par running with like a parachute and stuff and i do that for the first two hours as soon as i woke up and then later on in the day at 5 p.m. I'd eat dinner and then I go to my next soccer training for because they have multiple uh, lessons each day. And I go at 5 p.m. for my core two training again, and then sometimes I'd stay for the next session, which is core three, which is the older and like more skilled players. And I'd stay and do that too sometimes because my older brother is in core three. I'd stick around and do it with him. I do that, and then after that, I would then go to the facility again for, like, um, my stamina and, like, everything core-based, and I do that, and I'd 
five hours like four to five days a week just doing that so um, I came to realize it's one of the main reasons why I was always more fit I wasn't like strong I wasn't like big or strong but I had a a body I could somewhat appreciate I always had abs I was growing up I was very skinny but I always had abs and I think that is the main reason why I do have abs and stuff um because my younger brother he's 11 now he's not into soccer at all he, he, he did soccer for like three years and he quit and he's not he's not out of shape but he definitely did not look like anything like me my older brother and my sister growing up because we were all very heavily like intensive sports kids anyway i just wanted to lay that down as like the groundwork because um i just want to show that like i wasn't just like born this way it's i i had to work hard for what i have now and thankfully i it paid off then to me now anyway um so the first picture i have is a picture of me when i was i think i was in ninth or eighth grade i was a very late bloomer by the way i probably didn't hit my growth spur until i was in 10th grade but this is me in either eighth or ninth grade um it was eighth grade because this was the summer before ninth grade um because i got I got arm surgery before ninth grade, the summer before ninth grade, and this is right before I got surgery. Um, I was in Washington D.C. with my family, and you can, as you can see, I'm like, I'm very skinny. I'm a very skinny kid. Like I said, I was always skinny growing up. Um, and then this next picture is the picture of my arm surgery that I got, like a couple weeks after that. It was, it was a big surgery. I had to basically regain all functionality and the ability to use my arm again afterwards. My arm was so skinny. I remember after they took my cast off, um, I had to go to physical therapy and we did bench tests of like how, like my range of motion of my arm and my strength. And I remember he, um, this dude, the, my, my therapist, he, he was like, all right, I want you to like squeeze your arm as tight as you can and like make as big of a bicep as you could and i remember just sitting there and i i flexed as hard as i could and literally nothing happened like nothing happened like my arm had grown so weak from that surgery like i i had no muscles in me and it was definitely something that was really hard but after physical therapy and then i started going to the gym with my friends a little more i did able to get some muscle back on this picture next picture I'm gonna be showing this is me my senior year of high school um I'm not very muscular or big but I am still very lean and skinny I don't even know if lean is the right word because lean means I have muscle I definitely don't have much muscle but I was still skinny so there's that but I did have gained some muscle back in my right arm which is the arm I got surgery on and it was always kind of difficult because my right arm was significant weaker than my left arm but I'm a righty in everything I do but um, even to this day my left arm is still significantly stronger than my right arm but it's something that I have to pace with myself with because when you work out you don't want to overdo it but also you don't want to prioritize your stronger um side like the stronger side because that means your weaker side isn't going to be progressing or developing um, properly so I always had to limit on my left side to whatever my right side could do. So whether it was like I was doing um, dumbbell presses, which is like you get a dumbbell, and it's not it's like a bench press, but instead you use dumbbells. But I I focus. I would I never did bench press that much. Um, I would only do dumbbells because that way I could prioritize my right arm's weight with my left arm. So whether it was that or I was doing bicep curls with dumbbells. If, like, like if I could do at the time if I could do 25 pounds with my left arm and I can only do 10 on my right I would force myself to do 10 on my left as well and I would have to work my way up very slowly and progress pretty slowly depending on whatever my right arm weight was on anyway continuing um, this is a soccer picture of me also in my senior year of high school so um, when I have a shirt on I don't look nearly as skinny still skinny but not nearly as skinny as the previous picture made me look to be um i'm also not that tall uh for those of you that were wondering i'm 
five foot ten, five foot ten inches, so just above average height. But um, I think if you're not like six foot or high taller, you're like basically grouped in with average. So I consider myself about average, but I'm five ten. So with my build, I'm I'm just I'm just like a very skinny person. I think I was also like one. 130 pounds at this at this time. It was 130 pounds at 5 foot 10, so I was always below BMI. Um, these next two pictures of mine, these were it doesn't say the date, but I'm pretty sure this is October. These are October of 2022, which is when I first came to college, and this is about the time when I first started working out. I didn't start working out consistently until I got to college. Um, I think it just kind of, I had like a lot of free time and I was also just like, I didn't really know anybody. So, um, I would just spend the time going to the gym and, um, one of the main things that got me consistently going to the gym is realizing that I was making progress. At first, I didn't want to go because like, I, I felt like everybody was always judging me maybe, like, whether I was doing dumbbell curls with like 15 pound weights, it's like, oh, that dude's like really weak and stuff. So that was one of the turns of mine, but as I consistently kept going, I started to progress in weight and it made me feel a little more like I belonged. And I'm not saying this is the mindset you should have going to the gym, which is not what you should have at all. Because I came to realize that nobody cares what you're doing. Like nobody genuinely cares what you're doing. They're all working on their own and you can go and work out without being judged because at some point everybody was in the same stage as you whether if you're a little bigger than normal if you're like me under undersized um everybody's there to make progress with themselves so it's something that you don't have to have in your consciousness it is it is a hard thing to overcome it definitely is um because you know you can't help yourself thinking that way but um, I promise you nobody is actually judging you or like caring and if they do care it's they're caring in a way where it's like it's it's for your best you know like whether it's like oh maybe their forms all off if anybody ever approaches you about help it may be a little embarrassing but they're only wishing you the best so um, anyway but these two pictures as I said uh, it was when I first started I think I had gone to the gym about so this is like a week or two of me going to the gym. I started in October basically, and April is um, my halfway point, my six months. <clears throat> so I've been going to the gym for about a year and a half now consistently. There are periods of my like life where like I won't go to the gym for two or three weeks because I just like do not have any motivation. I just like don't want to go, but I am still I'm like always pretty consistent though. I like to be. Um, but as you can see, even I'm, I'm still very skinny in these pictures. Uh, I don't really have any pictures of me, to be honest, because I was never the type to take pictures of myself, um, especially shirtless. It's not that I was, like, self-conscious about my body, but I just, like, felt weird taking pictures of myself. I'm not a big selfie guy or a big picture-taking guy, um, but these were some pictures I was able to scrounge up uh, from the deep depths of my camera roll. Um, and the reason why I'm showing you these pictures is because, like, first off, I'm going to show you where it came from, but also just to show that progression, it may be slow and it can be different pace for everybody. Honestly, in my case, I think I progress somewhat pretty quickly. Um, in my opinion, I think it is harder to develop muscles or make progress when you're skinny because um, if you start going to the gym and you're like, um, let's say you're, you're like big, you're like somewhat big when you start going to the gym, it's like you have the body to, to you have the body, you kind of just need to carve it out, you know, it's kind of like if you're given like an empty block of stone, you're able to chisel away at what you want until you have what you want, whereas if you're skinny, it's like, you, you can't chisel your way, it's like, you need to add pieces to it, and it can be difficult, because it might mean 
things like changing your diet completely, like forcing yourself to eat more than usual. I didn't have to do that. I, I never changed my diet. I have a very unhealthy diet, to be honest. I eat a lot of candy, and I still do because I love candy. I'll probably go through a bag of candy a day, which is definitely not healthy, but <laughs> I work out to... I don't work out to um, like be conscious of my body, but I work out to just feel good. Um, and I'm not going to work out to the point where I'm going to change my diet, so I start restricting myself on certain things I have to eat, although I should restrict the amount of sugar intake I have and the food that I eat. But still, I want to be able to enjoy eating what I want while also not having to worry about how I look. Um, but this picture I'm going to be showing now, this was taken April of 2023. So this is my six months. This is about six months after um, I started working out, and the two pictures I took previously of me in the beginning of college, October 2022, um, I was about 135 pounds then. So I'm still fairly undersized. But this picture of me of April 2023, my six months. Um, I weighed myself and I remember texting it to my family group chat like, oh my god, god I just weighed myself. Excuse me. I just had a bowl of ice cream. <laughs> that shows you my unhealthy diet. It's 1.30 a.m. and I just had a bowl of ice cream anyway. I text my group chat like, I just weighed myself and I'm 150 pounds. Like, I gained 15 pounds of weight. And I was like, guys, this is crazy because I, I wasn't, like, doing anything. Like, I wasn't eating more than I usually was before. The only change I really made was I was definitely drinking a lot more protein. Because I started incorporating protein into my workouts before, like, in high school. I would just kind of work out and come home and just do whatever I did. But after each workout, I would make sure I would get protein in me. Usually I get, um, like, core power which is about 26 grams of protein, um, but I got protein powder, and that's about like 24 grams of protein, but I would like to start to um, intake protein into my diet, into my workouts, and especially spring semester of my freshman year, there were a lot of times when I just did not have time to eat a meal because my classes were so packed during the, e during the afternoon, I didn't have time to eat lunch, so I would end up just kind of drinking um, a protein shake as a meal, which is definitely not healthy, but I think that was also a big impact on gaining my weight. Um, and I think it was also the fact that muscle mass is more denser than fat. So although I wasn't gaining fat or body weight as much, I was gaining muscle. So my body weight was increasing. But my sister texted me. She's like, oh, that's that freshman 15, which I never heard before. Like, before until then, but it's basically like when most be like students that go to college, they like gain 15 pounds of weight, whether it's due to like eating or like just like basically living independently. And in my case, I I actually I was like, wow, that's crazy, because I gained literally like exactly 15 pounds of weight. But my workouts um consist usually of the way I found works best for me. It may work differently for everybody else um this is not like a like if you follow my routine you'll get the same results or stuff like that it, it truly does depend on how your body reacts and what works best for you but it's also a mindset thing where like if if you like decide to follow what i did you might be like oh i don't feel like i'm making progress and if you have that mindset it's not gonna improve or like actually impact you either you need to find something that works and something that you feel also works so for me, for me, I would tend to um, distribute my workout days into push and pull days. And then every, like, month or two, I think we're pretty like day. I never really did the legs because, like I said, I did I played soccer my entire life. So I have pretty fine, like, my legs are fine. Um, but, yeah, I would incorporate it into push and pull days. And honestly, I, I never had, like, set days. Like, I would do a push day, so push days consisting of um, dumbbell presses, uh, incline dumbbell press, flat dumbbell press, um, dumbbell fly. 
guys laying down flat on the bench or um I'm trying to think like cable flies I would try and switch it up each workout but they those were like the main ones that I would typically do sometimes I'd substitute something else in or like take something out that way it's not like a kind of like just like a repetitive routine I like to try and change it up so it's not always the same but that's typically what my push days will consist of and then I'd, I'd end off with triceps which would typically be like um uh like the, the I forget what it's called it's the tricep cable pull downs or whatever um sometimes overhead single arm I like to do single arm that way I'm prioritizing my right arm because sometimes when I do do arm workouts but like they share cable or ca they, they're sharing something to hold on to I do so I'm like feel like um the distribution is typically prioritized to my left arm because once I start to get tired I'm kind of just working out to complete the rep at that point and that typically would probably mean I'm using more power in my left arm than my right so I do like doing single arm workouts which is why I prioritize dumbbells but that's typically what my push days would consist of pull days um, I do lap pull downs from a machine um, sometimes I do like the inverse ones where there's like a handle like an inverse uh, I'll do cable rows um, try and do sometimes ca single cable row with one hand um, uh, I, I honestly do not do that much back um, sometimes I'll do uh, just like a machine where you kind of just like pull it back um, I don't know what it's called at all uh, I don't really know terms like that um, there's this one machine at the gym by my house it has like weights and you kind of like stand and then you it's like it's kind of like a bent over row but you can do it with like a, with a barbell but I usually or is that what's called I forget the use for bench presses I'll like you can use that to do bent over rows but I'll do it with like a machine instead but for biceps I would just typically do dumbbell curls um, and then some machines with bicep curls and that typically got the job done um, that that was what my workouts were um, freshman year and as you can see from the picture, I definitely made a lot of progress actually from when I started, and that's when and and um, I after I took that picture, I think like a couple weeks later, I found the pictures, the previous two pictures I showed you, and I was like, oh wow, like um, I couldn't tell the progress I was really making to be honest, because it's like to me it's happening in real time, so it's like any progress I make. It's, it's it's small increments, but then when you look at it from a timeline of like where you are now and then where you started, you can truly see the the progress that you're making. So definitely don't be down on yourself if you feel like you're not making progress because you can you can definitely you're definitely making progress if you're consistent with what you're doing and you're doing it properly. You know, um, even if you're consistently working out or consistently doing whatever. If you're not doing it properly, it, 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 the, the progress might, you might be making progress, but it, it limits it, it limits the progress you're making because you can only do something so much until you cap, you cap it. Um, so always make sure you're doing things with proper form or you know what you're doing. Honestly, I, I don't even know what I'm, if I'm, what I'm doing right now is like still working, but I just have the mindset of, um, I feel like I'm doing it right, and nobody seems to have said anything about it, so, um, definitely don't take advice from me, um, but I've reached a point in my life where I've, I'm content with my body, and I'm content with how I look, and I'm no longer training or working out with the purpose of growing, but rather with the purpose of maintaining now, I'll still, like, maybe increment increase weights like let's say i can like i feel like i can do um higher dumbbell weight cur uh, curls like let's say i did i was doing 31 week and then a couple weeks later i realized
because I can do 32 and a half. I'll still increase in weight because like I don't mind, but I don't have the I don't work out with the intent of getting like huge. Like I don't that's not my goal. That was never my goal. Um honestly, I always thought it'd be weird cuz I've always like I said been skinny my entire life and then the idea of being big was just like I don't know, it was such like a exotic thought to me and I, I did not like it whatsoever. I, I don't, like I can't picture myself being like big and I don't think I ever want to be like that big. So that's where I'm staying with. Um, this is a picture of me. Uh, I forget what this is because it's not showing up on my laptop. Um, it does show it on my photo camera roll because that's when I took it but it doesn't show up. I believe this was winter of 2023. This is when I came home from winter break. So this is about a one year progress. Um, as you can see, compared to the previous picture, I'll probably put it up again. Uh, I haven't changed much at this point. I'm still like the same size. Um, I, I'm not, I haven't made any progress to be honest. I mean, I, I think I am making progress still, but very, very, very slowly than before because it's kind of like beginner, you know, it's like beginner gains, um, or kind of like, think of it like a baby, a baby has so much to learn, and from the age of like three to six, the amount of information they intake is like crazy, it's like they, they, they're learning so much, but then from the ages of, let's say, third, like 18 to 20, it, it substantially decreases the amount of information, the amount of knowledge and stuff that you're, you're learning. Um, so that's definitely the way I think of my body. It's like I've grown to a point where I've plateaued at where I like to be. Um, and I'll still make slow increases, but like in this picture, um, I'm not too different from what the previous picture looked like. Other than maybe like a little more definition, let's say. Stuff like that. Also the camera lighting and stuff is... It's very different from one another, so it might just make the perception look a little more different from what it might really be. Um, let's see. I really should have put the date, dates down for these. Um, these next pictures are like more recent. Uh, I think this picture I'm putting up now, this one was... Um, I think all these pictures are from 2024 because that last picture I showed you was December from winter break, so everything else from 2024. Um, yeah, like the rest of the pictures, they they all basically look the same. I'm I'm not too different to be honest. Although I did realize I'm starting to lose my abs. My abs definitely aren't as prominent or. Uh, defined as they once were when I was skinny, but that makes sense because I'm also gaining weight. Excuse me. <laughs> oh my god, I'm like battling with this ice cream right now. And then this most recent picture was taken like last week, so there's that. Although I have recently come to the that I do want to kind of give up weightlifting, maybe not give it up, I'll probably like maybe come back to it at some point, but I want to try and start doing calisthenics, um, I think calisthenics is really enjoyable, but I mean it looks really cool, and I, one day I was watching on Netflix the show Blue-Eyed Samurai, and um, I just realized like everybody wants to kind of master or become good at something like whether it's like gaming you want to get really good at a certain game or you want to get good at really like at a certain sport but nobody really truly masters their own body you know it's like we might think we have full functionality of our body like oh we can run jump um use our fingers to do really specific things but it's like let's say you want to do like a handstand and just kind of handstand walk somewhere or like kind of do certain things that you might not be able to do because you're not flexible enough it's like everybody you might not have the ability to be good at gaming or the ability to be good at whatever but we all have a body and we're all born with this body and it's something that we have access to 24 7 you might not have access to a basketball or like any like certain hobbies or stuff but your body is it's it's literally you so like i kind of came to the conclusion that i want to try and start to maybe not master but definitely gain more functionality more control of myself 
so uh, I'll probably make a, I want to make, I definitely want to make a video about my first calisthenics workout. I already did one workout. It wasn't really a workout. It was like a benchmark. It's, I don't have my notebook. It's my other backpack. It's my gym backpack. Um, but I, I bought a notebook just to like write down and keep track of all the things I'm going to be doing in future workouts. And my first workout I did was a benchmark where I basically just wrote down how much of each thing I can do so I can kind of base or plan a workout for my future calisthenics uh, ventures. Um, it, honestly, I was kind of like shocked at the things, how like almost weak I, I am. Like even though I can, I do certain back workouts and stuff, when I like, I was doing my benchmarks, I'm like, wow, I can only do 13 pull-ups, like that's it, I thought I could do more, or I can only, or like, I can only do 30 dips, like, wow, that's, it's, it's, it's definitely, um, humbling, um, shifting from weightlifting to calisthenics, it's, it's definitely humbling, um, but I'm excited as to where this journey might take me, but you know, like, maybe if it doesn't work out, and I go like a week or two in, I'm like, oh, I really don't like this, it's not, as interesting as I thought it'd be, or it's not as mentally um, endearing as I thought it'd be. I can always go back to weightlifting. It's not like something I'm giving up forever. It's just something that I just thought maybe I want to go into. But that's about it in terms of my uh, journey um, of just how I got to be where I am today. And I just wanted to look back on my year and a half journey so far. Um, it's crazy. It's it's already been a year and a half coming up on two in half a year because that's how time works. <laughs> um yeah, I never really thought I'd become who I am today. And I never really like even to this day I can't really, I don't like really grasp at how I'm not who I was a year and a half ago even just a year ago, but, um, you know, it's, it, it is cool to look back on, so, yeah, there's that, hopefully this is super inspirational and motivational to all you watching, and now you guys are all gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna have a great fitness body journey transformation as well, because I am the best at inspiring people, I'm told that all the time, <laughs> that was sarcasm. Um, anyway, I guess that's it for today's video. Um, I'll go to the gym and try and record as much as I can for my first Callus Next workout, and then I'll keep you guys updated on that. Thanks for watching. Uh, I love you all. Stay safe. Hope we're having a good morning, a good afternoon, a good evening, or a good night. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Before I go, oh, I'm wearing a Los Angeles Lakers jersey right now, and they just beat the new Pelicans. So that means we're in the eighth seed. So we're playing the Pelicans again, I believe. I forget when, but we're playing the Pelicans again in the play-in for the seventh seed. And I have very high hopes that they're going to be the Pelicans in the play-in. So we secure the seventh seed, which is going to be amazing. Actually, it's not that amazing because that means we're playing against Denver in the first round. But it's going to be amazing because we got seventh seed. <laughs> oh my god, we're going to lose the Nuggets. Oh my god, we're going to lose the Nuggets. We just get beat the Nuggets. The Nuggets and the Kings are like the two teams that we just cannot beat. But if we can beat the Nuggets, then I genuinely believe we can beat the play, like win the playoffs. Anyway, that's the end of my story. Um, uh, stay safe. I love you all. Uh, blah, blah, blah.